in order to update a Ford computer, you have to go to the Ford website and download that new program. So type in www.motorcraft.com into your web browser and hit enter. And it takes you to the Ford opening website page. Look up there in the center, right there on the red bar where it says technical resources. We blew it up there for you. And click on that. And now it wants you to log in. You type in your username and your password. And you hit enter. And it will take you to this web page. Now, I'm pointing to my subscriptions. In the black there, it says my subscriptions. I want to go to reprogramming and initialization under my subscriptions. If you don't have a subscription, if you never bothered to subscribe at the Ford website and pay for the downloads, you're going to have to go to subscription products there in the black with the white lettering and go to reprogramming and initialization and then buy a subscription. So we're assuming that you already have your subscription. Go to reprogramming and initialization underneath my subscriptions and click on it. And it takes you to a different page. At the top there, we're pointing to software application. Click on that and it brings you to a, another web page. It has a scroll bar on the right hand side, so scroll down. It's showing you how to use pass-through devices, how to connect them, and what to do. It's talking about pass-through devices that are validated. And we talked about that in the introduction. If you skip the introduction for J2534 reprogramming, you may want to go back and view that at this time. So when you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you see Ford module programming over there on your left. Click on it. And it says do you want to run or save this file? Well, you want to save it, so click on Save. And it says, where do you want to save it? I always save it to my desktop so I can go back and find it real easy. So I click on Save, and then it starts downloading the program. When it's done, the green bars light up, and then it continues copying the files, and it's going to come up and eventually say, Download Complete, and then go ahead and click on Run. And then... Microsoft's giving you a warning that you know you're sure you want to do this well you went to Ford website to get this program you paid for it so yeah you want to run so click run welcome to the sh install shield press next go ahead and accept the terms of the license agreement if you don't you can't go any further so go ahead and hit next type in your user ID one more time and then it says this is where we're gonna download it are you sure that's the place you selected before. All right, now click next and then it says ready to install a program. Click install and you can see once again we're dealing with the green bars as it goes from left to right, it's completing the task. Then it goes into a configuring file and it says please wait and be patient, don't be clicking anything and it said that the wizard is complete. Click finish. And at that point, you bounce back to this page here. So at this point, you can just close out of these pages and go back to your desktop. And you can see that you have a new icon on your desktop. And that's the program you just went to the Ford's website to download. You're going to double click on this in order to reprogram the module when you have your J2534 pass-through device connected to the vehicle. But that's another training video.